Hi, um, I'm going to give a quick introduction to Amero Figure, which is an application built on the Amero web client. If you're starting in the web client page like this, um, and Amero Figure has been installed by a sysadmin, you'll see a link to Figure up here. And what you'll usually want to do is to right click on this and open it in a new tab so that you've got Amero Figure in one tab and the web client in another and can move back and forth between them. If I go to figure tab, I'm going to choose the option here to create a new file. And I'm in the add images dialog here, asking me for image IDs to bring the images from Amero into the figure. So I'm going to go back to the web client, and browse here to choose images. I can just enter the, the image ID, which is shown on the right here for every image. Um, but a more convenient way, particularly for adding multiple images, um, is to select all the images I want and then use this link icon in the top right here. This gives me a URL to these images which also contains the image IDs. So that can be used as a reference to the images. So if I copy that and go back into figure and paste that in here, this will bring those images into the figure. So I can then select, drag, and resize these and this. If I want to add more images, I can go again to this Add Image button at the top there, um, go back to Web Client, uh, let's just choose a single image this time, and again, Copy the link, paste the link here, and that will bring additional images into the figure. So the images can be moved and resized. The aspect ratio will always stay the same if I drag by corners, or I can use the side ones there if I really want to, to squash an image, but the um, panel itself, uh, the pixels will not be squashed, they'll just be resized within the image. I can select multiple images by shift clicking or by dragging a selection, or I can use a keyboard shortcut, command A, to select all of the panels. On the top, there are some menu options to the left, and on the right are some shortcuts for organizing images. I can align all the selected images to the same width or height, or in fact the same width and height. Another useful feature here is the alignment to grid which will put all the images uh, into a grid with a small white space between them. If I want to delete selected images, there's an option up there to delete. Also useful under edit is the ability to undo and redo changes. And these can also be accessed using the sh keyboard shortcuts. Selected images are shown to the right here in these panels where I can do a lot of other edits. There's three panels here. The preview one, which allows me to um, edit the image panel itself. The info just has additional image about the uh, information about the image. And then the, the panel to the right as well I can add scale bars and labels. And the whole window can be zoomed um, at the bottom here and the button to make it fit into the window. Once I've done some editing, I can save the figure um, 
give it a name and that saves the figure to the Amera server. It will be available in the file open menu. So I can open all files. And if I want to export it to PDF, I can do that using the button at the top right here. This has created a PDF which is then available for me to download. And I can continue editing that PDF in um, another package such as Illustrator. More information on uh, getting started with the Mayo figure can be found from this help. Here, if I go to the home page for Mayo figure, um, there's an introduction and installation instructions, as, as well as a, a blog with a few posts and a user manual which gives a good introduction and explanation of the features in the mirror figure. Okay, thanks for watching.